Hello, so quick video will show you how to deploy the Azure function uh, with the Azure DevOps and how to build the pipeline to uh, deploy the Azure function into the Azure function resource in. For example, um, your purpose is the deploy, the bundle of the function right here. For example, you had about 10 or 15 functions you want to deploy in the Azure function resource. For example, this is the Azure function resource and you create this resource and you need to uh, deploy all this function all the api for example something like here the all the api and how to do that uh, normally you use the vs code and you uh, you deploy it right but uh, for example you use the vs um, you, uh, I remember in some video i told you use the vs code to deploy as a function, but sometimes your company want to you to build up the pilot in the as a DevOps. So, um, how to do it in as a DevOps? So, for example, uh, this function I already had a source code right here in the repos in the as a DevOps. So, for example, in this one, I have several function. I don't don't care about. Uh, the content inside does care about if you have the two three function you can get it uh, the file the initial path and the initial pi dot pi json dot pi and you put into the function right and uh, all right when you already have the function you need to build the pipeline so how to build up the pipeline uh, the pipeline right here you need to is to build up continue, continuous integration, it means CI. After you have CI, you have to build up the CD, it means the continuous delivery. For example, so normally in Azure, you, you the CI CD is the definition you really pop uh, here many times, right? So CI, it means integration and CD delivery. Every time you change the code right here, the system trigger and update into uh, your into into the Azure resource right here. Okay, so you don't do anything. Um, so go back right here. How to do the pipeline for? So for example, this pipeline I already done it, and I open how to be the pipeline for this pipeline. Uh, you you have to set up some configuration. For example, the pipeline you need the uh, the the agent right here. Maybe you put you can choose the Ubuntu latest. Okay, and after that you create. Uh, you have to choose your uh your repos right here. For example, repos I to the main repo. Repos it means the repo right here. Yeah, and you choose the main right here. And after that, you create some of the job right in the task in the job right here. For example, right here we build a uh, extension, some the script right here. It's helpful to build the uh, in the CI. For example, we use the pythons in our Azure Azure function. We use everything on the Python. So right now we use the Python three point nine because the Azure resource right here we choose the. Um, uh, run start is the Python 3.9, so we should use the same right here in the Azure Laptop. And right here, some the uh, command line to create the virtual environment and uh, update the pips and install all the requirements into the repos. In the repos, in the Azure function, they always have the file, re uh, for example, the, the file. Uh, for something like that, the other library, and so the second thing and the last thing they uh, public the artifacts. The public artifacts right here. This help you to uh, save the the artifacts, and uh, after that you can in the CD you need this artifact to to deploy into the Azure Visual Resource, right? So very. Right, useful okay and
this CICD and when you just run it and uh, for example right here you just like click run uh, right now okay for example I click run they will run the uh, CI for you and you see right now take the time a little bit time You know, when you put into the production, you need to be a WCI CD pilot. But sometimes you, when you do some research and development, you don't need to do CIBD pilot. Uh, that's you the uh, uh, you the uh, um, VS code and you run the uh, the deployment directly into the other uh, result for testing, right? So right here, we learn how to build up the CICD pilot for the Azure function. And right here, we, we the Azure function use the Python, right? Right now, it's Python, but plus a lot of people use the Python, Python to write the uh, Azure function. For example, they build up the HTTP trigger request and post, right? All right, in the last step, um, they install all library, for example. They run right out the install library and continue the next step. They build the artifacts and they save in the artifacts for us. After we finish the CI step, we will go to the CD step. I think right here, release. Is close okay. They finish right very finished. You see, they want notify right here. Uh, you can go over here and you see they saving the artifact right here. That's the, the path of the artifact right here. Uh, you answer you can go right here and see where the artifact you see right here. The one notified that already published. Click right here and you see the saving artifact right here. All right, the CI already done, and we do the set phone, right? And you see, that's a set phone. And right now, we jump to release. It means we have to use the this artifact to build up the CD. And CDs have art right here. For example, I already have that. You can create new. And but the more important thing, how you build up that, you click edit, and you can see how I build up right here. For example, I can delete it, and I can. For example, when you uh, create, you didn't see it. You need to ask the artifact where the artifact. You click it and click the build. You use the artifact from the CDR, CI and laptop uh, and click right here. I put it into right here and I add it, right? And right here, um, you in the job tab, you need to ask uh, some of these tasks right here. The, but the first thing you had to uh, link to your resource. I mean, resource right here is the, the Azure subscription. They have to link into the, this subscription, right? It's my subscription. All right. And after they link it to the subscription, they ask you, okay, uh, you're the uh, function, function app resource. They use the Linux or Windows. Okay. This right here, this is a function app resource. Uh, yeah, this function app. When you create the function app, they ask you you run this function app on the Linux or on the uh, Windows. For example, I choose here the Linux, right? So uh, after that, they are automatically link to uh, the other function resource I have in this subscription. Okay, click it and into the Ubuntu. Uh, the Asian human tools last latest okay version and go right here you have to choose you see up time and the run start okay python 29 okay they create a ship 
All right, and the link to your Azure function app name right here. My name is the IDEO test, All right? And everything is correct. You just saving the CD, click save, and then you just say, okay, create a release, and they will create a release for use, and you click create, and they will release for you one, and this one is a new release. For example, everything they put in the queue and they run the upper, they deploy from the CI, the artifact from CI into production, right? You can see the log right here, that I run right now. They get the artifact, right? They download the artifact from CI and they deploy into the Azure function. It takes a time. So Okay, they finish the job and cease. You see right there? This is cease the release. A lot of time I just release it, but I create a new release at release seven and we do production separately. Um that's it. That's the CI. We do the pipeline right here. The CD. We do the release. Uh, build up the release. Every time you change something, they create a new release, right? And for example, uh, in this uh, release, you can trigger. Turn on the trigger uh, right here. So turn on it one. It's very useful when they detect something change in the code from the CI they automatically deploy into the other function. So it's have you change automatically, right? It's really useful, the saving, okay? It's have you a lot. Actually, you uh, you can schedule right here, for example, time, the schedule really trigger. But for example, you can trigger time Monday on Tuesday during the week, what time you want to trigger this deployment is up to you. But right here, I, I don't set this up. I just only need to trigger right here. This could help me um, to detect the something change in the course in the repos right here. I change something, I will run the CI. And after that, they run the CD address as well. And this one, you can use a lot of stuff right here. For example, I right now from the CI directly to production. But you also clean something out right here. You add something out right here, okay? You add a new stage right here, okay? And for example, this, this stage, you can say, okay, uh, whatever you want right here. Um, uh, you can type the Azure function. Okay, apply this one for this mean, for example, dev, for example, like that. And okay, you create something they from CI right here that can deploy the dev and production at the same time. Or uh, you add some job this group right here, you choose the resource, the Azure subscription, and the time, for example, Linux, the same thing in the dev, they have something. And that subscription has some another result, something like this. And you choose something like here and you click it and save in reality if they had to do something the same. A uh, lot of time, but I don't need it right now. Uh, it's very useful, right? So that's a C, C, CD right here. And CI is a pilot, right? A pilot is really easy. Uh, you help you to build up the Azure function and build up the artifact. Um, right here, very right, something very simple. Um, or you can click right here and you create, uh, okay. For example, um, Azure function. All right, uh, for the container deploy anything you want, clearly they have a template for you. Uh, that's it. Um, Okay, for example, in the CI, you remember 
when you go to the CR, you rem you uh, remember a trigger right here. A trigger property right here you need to enable. It means they automatically detect what you change in the code in the repose. And you should say this one saving this enable enable the con continuous integration. It means uh, they help you to detect something you change in the repose and do the CI and continue to do the CD directly. You don't need to to to, to do anything. Uh, we work in a team, so a lot of people change in the course and when you merge into the mesh and you commit into the mains, the system will run automatically for you. You don't care about that. Let's see. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's the CI and CD. Uh, CI and CD. I remember yet uh, previous video. I already told you about the uh, deploy the uh, uh, deploys the uh, web app. You build and push the image into the Azure result uh, Azure container registry, right? And we build the web app. So uh, it's quite similar. So. Uh, okay, that's that's it. Uh, enjoy.